Do you hate hitting drives like this? Slicing off to the right, hitting the tree, getting you in trouble. So many amateurs do struggle with penalty shots off the tee. This is the killer swing move that causes this action, causes the problems, and it's way simpler to fix the many belief. So what we see time and time again from amateurs, which we don't see from pros, is on the way through the amount of shoulder tilt. So the amount of tilt in the shoulders as they come through. And then in turn, where the hands get in relationship to that shoulder tilt. We see amateurs with very flat level shoulder tilts, dragging that club down and to the left, and then hands exiting quite low, where we see pros time and time again, hands exiting quite high, trail shoulder way lower than lead shoulder, so tilting loads more, and this encourages stronger pass. Stronger pass will encourage stronger use of the face. So how can we get you not making this move? So this temptation to come round level, flat, and just rotate those shoulders, get these low squirty slice shots, it's just common, I, I see it day in, day out on the golf course. So we need trail shoulder coming down, lead shoulder going up as you come on your downswing and through. And then we need the hands coming up way higher rather than this down, this up, hands lower and around, creating completely different release patterns and obviously face to path control and shots. This is such a simple drill, you can do it at home. Just grab your driver and line it up with your forehead, place it in the ground, trail hand. Now what I want you to do is put the club down, pointing inside of the driver. And you're gonna make a few down swings where you feel like the hand comes under this grip as well as your trail shoulder coming under this grip. The move most of you want to make is this way. So you want the hands to go out, shoulder to come out to hit this grip, and you're going to come around this way. The more you can get a feeling of getting some tilts in there as you do this. So trail hand down inside of the grip, trail shoulder comes through down inside of the grip. The more we're going to get your shoulders moving this way, and guess what this does to the path? The more we get the shoulders moving this way, look what happens to the path. It straightens it up. It allows it to move somewhere nearer to where you want that ball to start, subject to ups and downs that you're putting in. Where if we are getting that shoulder out and those hands out, there's one way to hit the ball now, we're gonna just crash down and left, hitting those drives. With so many golfers on the range trying to lay the club down, so many golfers on the range trying to just drop the club way behind them, but with the shoulders going this way, it isn't gonna stay there for very long. The more we can get you orientating these shoulders this way, the more that path is gonna move. Look what happens this way rather than that way. The other thing, and this is the hardest thing to understand for lots of people, the more you can relate your shoulder turn to club path, and this is another great drill to use, simply put the club on your shoulders or off your, I mean, I'm about four inches away from my shoulders, but I'm level with my shoulders, so I'm not here, and I'm not down here, and I'm not here, and I've got the face, toe end pointed up to the sky here. The more you try and imagine your shoulder turn and how that influences path and face into that ball, so do some where you tilt, lead shoulder up, trail shoulder down, and watch what happens in your eye as the club approaches the ball. It'll come from your side out to the ball, then back inside, opposed to do some this way where you can see, yeah, look, that's throwing out to hit the ball now. I'm going to have to go that way. The more you can relate shoulder turn up to club path, what I tend to see with students is they have like a eureka moment. They're like, oh my God, why has no one ever told me this? This is, that makes so much sense now. I've been trying to like drop arms and hands and aiming way right and all these kind of ideas. This, if you can get this into your mind and working, making sense, Drives are going to be very different. And then the next thing you can do with this movement is try and feel where your hands are going. Remember we saw the hands higher or the hands low. What I want you to do is just get in front of a mirror. I can see myself in the camera here. Do some swings where trail shoulder comes down, but exit around and under lead shoulder, and then do some where you push that hand over lead shoulder. Actually try and get your hands to come up over lead shoulder and around hit the ball. So as you're getting this tilt in on the downswing, feel like your hands have a agenda to get above this shoulder, not tilting this up and then still coming down and around. This is where we see these very contorted positions. Use this idea on course and off, and then trying to get hands up and high over your shoulder on the way through, you're gonna hit longer, straighter, much better drives, more consistently. And you're not, believe it or not, gonna have to worry about manipulating path because this 
will hopefully be doing it for you. It's similar ideas with the irons as well. So you can do it with the driver, but it's very similar patterns that we see from amateurs, the pros with the irons, which is why we see similar mistakes. If you want to work out how to make this work better with your irons, this video goes into it in a little bit more depth with your irons and it might help you start ripping them onto the greens a little bit more often.